We got a hundred tons of clean stone being delivered through the day. At least it's not raining. Birkhams have come from uh, Cornwall and they're delivering Brunel stone rather than having those 20 tonners that got stuck the other day. Although, because it's quite dry today, we could have probably got away with it. But anyway, we've got um, five loads of 16 tonne, one more to come. Um, prices in the industry slaying everybody at the moment, we're, but we're paying roughly £300 a load because we're bringing in, in a different um, haulier to do that rather than Brunel's doing it themselves but uh, it's good gear it's 75 mil clean ground up concrete and um yeah what do you reckon there yeah best load you've had so far I just got off the phone with Glyn and he's drilling corn at the moment but he can come next week luckily the end of next week when he's got a spare moment for a day just to uh, continue with the um, back filling in the hole that never fills no matter how much stuff you put in it uh, yeah so it's expensive we've got Glyn back on site which is amazing um, he's here now back filling the remaining part of the house with clean stone that we need this is our pile of clean stone, which is only going to scratch the surface, right, Glenn? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, from Brunel's, which is great stuff, but that's got to be filled in today as best we can. Back filling, back filling, back filling. One of the biggest challenges that we face is the steepness of the slope that we've built the house on. We want to. Um, create a wonderful woodland space here and literally try to make this as a wild woodland. Here we go, it is Glenn, proper Cornish eating his Cornish pasty from Rose. <laughs> Yeah, Proper handsome. Proper. So we're just waiting at the train station for Alex to return home after a month away in Africa. Flossie's excited, aren't you, Floss? <laughs> It's Thursday, the 27th of July. And how do we know it's July and summer in the UK? Because it's been raining all night and the fog behind me is pretty impressive. But anyway, today is a key enabling part of the project where the concrete stairs are going to be poured in situ. So um, Talon and James are on site today and uh, James has come up with a good idea of making up a uh, trough that extends from the front door down to uh, the top step and that will allow us to get the approximately cube and a half of concrete in there. There's a fair amount of shuttering here, obviously. So the wall stringers down here are supporting this OSB. 
which will be the back of the stairs. All of the woodwork that's facing the concrete has had release agent, mold release agent painted onto it, two coats, a Bostic product. And it was a bit like emulsified oil or, or cream. So there's another cage down here at the bottom, similar to the top, and then up it goes. been a busy few hours and uh, only now we've been able to film because there's only been three of us on site but uh, the shoot has gone and the concrete is just been in and initially leveled off and um, yeah it's still not in the position where we can really work it however um, looking at all the risers and uh, all the strings down the side, everything's nice and straight, so we're really, really happy. Mm -hmm. 